What's up guys? Today it's time for system test 18. For the pull stations we got two Notifier BNG1Rs. These are rebranded Firelight BG8s. For the notification appliances we have a DMP923-MCW and a Wheelock AS. Both set on code 3. The devices on the Halon system have always remained the same, but since they're going to be in the video today, we have an Ansel 57549 Bell and a Federal Signal 4050D with a Finquench 20-048 strobe. And finally on the Halon system we have a Jackson Associates MPS-1 manual pull station. So for this system test we're going to do a scenario where both of these systems are activated. So what we're going to have is the Halon system activated automatically by the smoke detectors and then the main fire alarm system will be pulled via a pull station. Obviously these smoke detectors are pretty old and I've installed these key test switches under them so that's what we'll be using and then of course the standard pull stations over here. Just for testing sake I don't have these wired together to automatically set each other off because it is excessively loud with all four of these going off but we're gonna try it out today see how it sounds so let's get started so as I mentioned we're gonna start off by activating the automatic zones on the Halon system it needs both zones to activate to move to the pre-discharge state so we're gonna activate the other detector zone This strobe is now wired for audible silence through the auxiliary output wired back through one of the relays. As you can see I put a diode across the relay so it still does maintain the supervision even though it only activates during the pre-discharge and afterwards. So that's pretty neat. So now we're going to go ahead and reset all these. right on cue. Alright, so that's about it. Thank you guys very much for watching.